this program. Those that are watching from different platforms, I welcome all of you this evening. As you all can see, the Biafra kids, Biafra children are very happy with the way the Biafra government have provided security and the enabling environment in Biafra land. And I am very, very happy for what the children have displayed this evening. It shows that they are indeed following as we are making the history, they are following us bomber to bomber. Yes. Our promise as a government is that you can never, ever, ever live in IDP camp in Biafra land. Those who have made it possible for others to give birth in IDP camp and the children that were born in IDP camp in middle belt today are 19 years of age, which means they have lived in IDP camp over 20 years. I want you to understand that the Usman Danfodio legacy that the Nigeria terrorist state sponsored by the government in the central and the federal are pushing today is the conquest of the entire Nigeria, which Biafra is resisting ruthlessly. Today, they are not interested in the killing, abduction of other Nigerians but they are more interested in fighting those who have provided security for our women and children in Biafra land, which is the Biafra government. I want you to understand today that the reason our people are happy is because they know that the atrocities that are happening in other parts of Nigeria are not happening in Biafra land. Even when the enemy who never loved us today are now crying. And they will always cry about Simon Ekpa. Everywhere you go today, Simon Ekpa this, Simon Ekpa that. But you know what? It is not moving me. Because if they stop talking about it, I will do something that will make them to talk about it. Because the time they talk about me, they talk about Biafra. You can never separate Simon Ekpa and separate Biafra. Any day you mention Simon Ekpa, you are already talking about Biafra. No matter how you hate it, no matter how you want to avoid it, you will talk Simon Ekpa, you talk Biafra. You talk Mazinam Dikani, you talk Biafra. So my people, what are we doing? Remember that one year ago, or two years ago, they don't want to talk about Biafra. They don't want to talk about us. They were thinking that we are on social media. We were, you know, dancing to their tone, dancing every time on social media. They say we are dancing. We are content creators. We agreed. We did not uh, dispute and argue with them. So, but today, that dancing Tom and Jerry is no longer dancing Tom and Jerry. It has become a reality. The dancing is no longer on social media. We are now dancing in our own land, having the de facto government controlling the entire territory of Biafra, and Biafra people are loyal to the government. We still have some disgruntled failures, very few of them who are actually idiots. And you know, from the Asia man who defined what idiot, the definition of idiot, who gave a very good definition of idiot. So I call them idiot, who all they do is, you know, like today they say, instead of Simon Ekpa, we bring Biafra. Let this kind of Biafra not come. Nigeria needed something like a demon to fight the demon in Nigeria. And that's exactly what we are doing. If Nigeria think that they are demon, we will bring other demons to fight Nigeria. If Nigeria think that they are so evil, we will bring other evil to fight Nigeria. And that's exactly what we are doing. So the more heartless they become, the more heartless we become. And let me also tell you that any government that uses violence against its own people, that particular government must also be responded with violence. The government has think that they can use guns, barrel of the gun, to force people into a union they are no longer comfortable with, will also be responded with the barrels of the gun to separate, for these people to separate from that forceful union. And I want to tell you today that whatever we are doing is for the best interest of the children of Biafra. In Biafra land, and Biafra as a country, as a nation, that is where the 
true definition of leaders of tomorrow will be achieved. And the leaders of tomorrow will become a reality in Biafra land, not in Nigeria, where you say leaders of tomorrow. We were in the 80s, when some of us were born in the 80s. The, uh, the people that were ruling Nigeria then are still presidents today. So when are you going to become the leader of tomorrow? It is false fallacy and fake promises under Nigeria. But in Biafra, we will make that particular dream of leaders of tomorrow a reality. And that's why we are fighting, doing everything to give the opposite of what Nigeria is to our people. And this our children today understand that Biafra is only hope they have. And that's why they are using their talent to speak and appreciate the government of Biafra for what we have done so far. So why the idiots are on social media looking for what I call the stomach infrastructure, the children are keenly observing how we are doing this thing, what we are doing, and the reason we are doing it. And the only way they can express their gratitude is by what they have done today. You can see it took them probably many, many hours to come up with something very magnificent that they are presented here today. This is more than a word. This is more than statement. They have spoken in a very, very language that the zoo and the terrorist state of Nigeria will never ever understand. What, what it means is that the Biafra children are 100% with the Biafra government and they trust the government because the government has provided security for our women and children. This security we will continue to provide. A lot of people are making sacrifices to make sure that they put their life on the line in between the terrorists and our children and our women. So when the terrorists come, there are people who have sacrificed their life to be on the line, waiting for these people to come and they will face them. So they will never allow them to get through you. I want to make it very clear as a warning to the communities that have now decided to collect what they call amnesty in the name to sabotage Biafra. And that's why the official Edo Akanonu has been activated from today. If you are one of those who have collected money to sabotage Biafra freedom, sabotage and, so, and sell the future of these children and other millions of children of Biafra, you will never live to enjoy the money. The land of Biafra will swallow you before you even think about doing anything with that money. So the message I have come to deliver today, I want everybody to cut this particular video. Those communities that have collected money from the Nigerian government to sabotage the Biafra struggle, we know all of you. And I got done is what I can on. I am telling you, you see this heart? It is here. And that's what we need. I got done, I can on in a very, very serious ma manner. So all of you that have collected money now and in the name of amnesty, and they want to be the one leading the war front, showing where the military, the terrorist army can go. And I know that, believe me, we are coming for you. The land of Biafra will never yeah. allow you to succeed. That's my message for you today. You will never ever leave to succeed in sabotaging the struggle. We will do everything for December. I know, you know, I've been telling you people that December 2nd is sacrosanct. And a lot of things are going to be happening very, very soon. And it has started happening. Both the propaganda on social media, both on ground. As I'm talking to you today, those communities that have collected money, you know yourself. I don't need to be calling your name, but I may call your name in my next uh, program on space. I will mention communities that have collected money. And of course, <laughs> I want everybody to understand that many people have died for this struggle, even before I joined Biafra Liberation. But under my watch, you can never sabotage and succeed. I swear to God, you can never sabotage this struggle and succeed. That is the promise I made between myself and God and the spirit of over 5 million that have died under Nigeria. You can never sabotage and succeed. So those who have so they are conscious and their future for stomach for what you are going to eat just what you can eat for one day 
you sabotage the future of generation to come, you will never succeed. Biafrans will rise up against you. Biafrans will rise up against your community. Those who have collected money to work with the terrorists to kill our people in the name of you must not get Biafra or Biafra must not come from you. It will come from me. Yes. I will be the last person that will fight for Biafra. And what I will do is to hand over the freedom to your, this new generation, these children you are seeing. I can never hand over this fight to anybody again. Nobody after this particular December that we are going to enter a new or second phase of the liberation. After this particular December 2nd, nobody will fight for Biafra again. Biafra will be free. And we are going to hand over freedom to our children. And our unborn generation will enjoy what we have fought and what we are doing today. Stand firm and let your spirit be guided. Do not shake. Do not panic. December 2nd, Biafra freedom will be handed over to us, both in the spirit and in physical. Thank you very much, the women, uh, for organizing this. I thank you all and I apologize for the uh, technical issues we witnessed in the beginning. It is one of those things that we see in this struggle. Sometimes the enemy will come, when they see that you are making progress, they will come to attack. And that's exactly what has happened today. So we hope, hopefully, it will not happen again. I thank you all. Ebon! 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 Call you on another phone. Um, uh, Betty, Betty Abdel Biafra, I want to use this opportunity to uh, thank you very much for what you are doing. Uh, you know, every time you're on the media, uh, broadcasting and uh, creating awareness, yeah, honestly. I want to specifically thank you for the energy you have displayed and displaying so far. Uh, so thank I want you. you. I want to encourage you this evening that uh, you are doing a very wonderful job. And thank you. Are, thank you. God friends, bless you. If you have not uh, followed her page, go and follow her page. Thank so you, my GM. Page. God Please, bless uh, you. Uh, the Sonny should uh, Sonny, uh, send me the uh, her page, uh, her YouTube page, so we can publish it on our on our. Thank page. you. Thank you, my PM. God bless you. God bless you. Oh my God. Hey, you take it today. You take it today. Oh, no, no. One name on your one name on any Friday. Check out PM he said, he said, thank you, thank you. God is great. Thank you, thank you. Oh, but don't be a god, you're more good of God. He and I fire as he and I. God in heaven. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Betty.